Welcome to the World Trade Webcast. I'm Greg Sandler, president of thinkglobal.com, the B2B marketplace for global trade leads. This week on the World Trade Webcast, we're talking with award-winning columnist and futurist Joel Naroff and veteran journalist Ron Shearer about their book, Big Picture Economics, How to Navigate the New Global Economy. Yesterday, we talked about policymaking from an economic perspective, and we wanted to continue that conversation today talking about the acid test for good policymaking when it comes to how Congress assesses the budget and makes determinations regarding increasing taxes or cutting taxes. Gentlemen, what do you think about that? Well, in big picture economics, the way we look at it is that if a tax cut or if a tax break doesn't bring any economic activity or have any positive economic activity to it, it really doesn't deserve to live. And an example of one of those would be, for example, when you have investment managers, hedge, man hedge fund uh, managers who uh, receive, who pay much lower taxes uh, than the rest of us do um, because of what's called carried interest. And so that would be an example, I think, of what Joel would say is a, uh, a tax break that deserves to die. Okay, and I think that's, uh, that's a good point, and I think that helps us um, get a better understanding uh, of what some of the policy implications are. Let's talk about how big picture context influences everything from hiring decisions to corporate expansion plans. So how does, for example, the big picture factor into the decision in today's world uh, for a corporation to decide that it's going to acquire uh, a, a new subsidiary or for uh, an individual small business owner to decide whether or not uh, they should uh, expand their business? I think one of the clearest indications of that, you know, coming from big picture economics is some of the examples of the uh, people that we use. For example, Arizona State University ran into a major budget problem. What they had to do was understand that the context in which they were operating, whether it was their revenues or their market, was changing very dramatically. So they went heavily to online education and was able to expand a whole group of programs that under separate circumstances they couldn't. So big picture economics and context says that understand where you are, but understand where the things are changing so that you can develop your business plan accordingly. Yes, and in the case of Arizona State University, they went from zero revenues basically in three years to $100 million in revenues. And just to bring that after the book was written, to bring it up to speed, is that now they've made a deal with Starbucks, where baristas and people like that will be able to take their get online degrees paid for by Starbucks, and the revenues will go towards Arizona State University, who showed that you don't have to just cut in order to get increased revenues. That's maybe one of the lessons, which you can look for new ways to bring about new revenues. And there's also a new way to understand how you keep your employees. Starbucks is doing that because they want their baristas to stay with them and they know a lot of them take college courses. This is a benefit. It's again, a change in the, in the context and they're adapting to it. Well, that's an interesting point. And from what both of you are saying, it sounds like really to get a handle on context that business managers need to have a lot of data in order to make better decisions. There's no question about it. Uh, it. Most business people tend to know their business really well. What generally is missing from business plans, and, and I know when I do my consulting, I find this a lot, no, very few business people actually put the economy and where it's going into their plan to see whether or not all those great things they're thinking about make sense in the context of the economy. So they need this economic data as well as their own industry data to make really good business decisions. Again, there are plenty of real world examples uh, in the big picture. And uh, for, for those of you that are interested in learning more about some of the ways that you can learn how context uh, affects your decision making and can help you improve your decision making, uh, take a look at the book. For our latest schedule of upcoming Think Global webcast episodes, subscribe to us with any of the links below and bookmark this page. All of our previous episodes can be found online 
at thinkglobal.com slash webcast. And please join us again tomorrow for the fifth and final segment discussing big picture economics. Thanks for watching.